Welcome everyone to a new installment of Ever Wonder TV, the place where all of your wondering thoughts get answered. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel and remember to hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. In today's video, we are going to be talking on what if the moon exploded. Let's do this. Imagine the explosion of the moon. During the explosion, the moon will be split into many different fragments. Some of these fragments will be large and some will be small. All these moon fragments will move in different directions. Some will move away from the ground, but some will move toward the ground. What happens to the remaining fragments depends largely on the intensity of the explosion. For almost the general history of the 4,500 million years of our solar system, the Earth is spinning around the Sun. When it is at a perfect stage, it lights up and illuminates the night, and the Moon is a phenomena of madness, animal behavior, and has been linked throughout the history of myths such as agriculture of rice field. These links do not face scientific scrutiny, but there are many ways in which the Moon affects Earth. Destroying is a catastrophe, but we will change our world forever in some fun way. Number 1. Destruction of the Moon will send fragments to Earth, but may not destroy life. Imagine a weapon that is so deadly that it can use gravity to lift the Moon out of its bondage and explode it. It takes the antimatter of a medium-sized asteroid about a kilometer in diameter to do this and the debris will scatter in all directions. If the explosion is weak enough, the fragments will reform one or more new satellites. If it is too strong, there will be nothing. If the size is correct, it will form a ring system around the Earth. Over time, due to the Earth's atmosphere, these lunar debris will become exorbitant and have a number of effects. But these impacts will not be as destructive as the asteroids or comets we are so afraid of today. Although the chunks of the Moon would be larger, denser, and possibly larger than the asteroids that destroyed the dinosaurs, they have much less energy. Asteroids or comets that hit the Earth move at a speed of 20, 50, or even more than 100 kilometers per second. But the movement of lunar debris is only 8 kilometers per second, and it will only indirectly hit our atmosphere. The debris hitting the Earth is still destructive, but it will affect our world with less than 1% of the total energy of asteroids of the same size. If the pieces that hit us are small enough, humans can easily survive. Number 2. The night sky will be bright naturally. Once there are no full remnants of the Moon, the second exposed object of the sky of the Earth is going to be completely gone. Even if the Sun is full, it is a bright 400,000 times bright, but the Sun also becomes 14,000 times more than the next object in the sky. When you look at the Bortle Dark Sky Scale, the full Moon is the farthest of one and allows the dark sky to be naturally. If there is no Moon every night, there is no natural obstacle for a dull sky. Number 3. The Eclipse Will No Longer Exist Whether it is a partial solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse, an annular eclipse, or a lunar eclipse, the natural satellite of the Earth enters our shadow. We will never have any kind of solar eclipse. A solar eclipse requires three objects to be aligned, the Sun, the Earth, and our Moon. When the Moon passes between the Sun and the planet, it casts a shadow on the surface of the planet, which is a total solar eclipse. The Moon can pass through the surface of the Sun, which is an annular eclipse, or it can block only a small part of the Sun. But if there is no Moon, none of this will happen. Number 4. The length of the day will remain the same. You may not think too much about it, but the Moon exerts a small frictional force on the rotating Earth, causing our rotational speed to decrease over time. For centuries, we may only lose a second here or there, but it will add up over time. When dinosaurs roamed the Earth, our 24-hour day was only 22 hours, and it was less than 10 billions of years ago. In another 4 million years, we will no longer need leap days in our calendar because the rotation speed becomes slower and the length of the day continues to grow. But without our Moon, 
all this would stop. Every subsequent day will be 24 hours a day until the sun itself runs out of fuel and dies. Number 5. Our tide is very small. High and low tides are a great interesting difference for those of us who live near the coast, especially if we are in bays, inlets, or other areas with the ocean. Our tides on Earth are mainly caused by the moon, and the sun only contributes a small part of the tides we see today. During the full moon and the new moon, when the sun, the Earth, and the moon align, we will have a spring tide, the biggest difference that can exist between high tide and low tide. When they are at right angles, we have a silence during the crescent, the smallest difference. The tide is twice as large as the neap tide, but without our moon, the tide will always be just as insignificant, just a quarter of today's tide. Number 6. Our axial tilt will be unstable. This is unfortunate. The Earth rotates on its axis, inclined 23.4 degrees with respect to the plane of our orbit around the Sun. This is called our inclination. You might think that the Moon has nothing to do with this, but after tens of thousands of years, the tilt has changed, from 22.1 degrees to 24.5 degrees. The Moon is a stable force, because in a world without large moons like Mars, its axial tilt changes ten times more as time passes. On Earth, if there is no moon, it is estimated that our inclination angle may sometimes even exceed 45 degrees, turning us into an inverted world. Poles will not always be cold. The equator may not always be warm. Without our moon to stabilize us, the Ice Age would prioritize attacking different parts of our world every few thousand years. Number 7. We will no longer have stepping stones to the rest of the universe. As far as we know, humans are the only species that deliberately places itself on the surface of another world. From 1969 to 1972, part of the reason we were able to do this was how close the Moon was to Earth. The distance is only 380,000 kilometers, a conventional rocket can complete the trip in about three days, and the round-trip signal at the speed of light only takes 2.5 seconds. The next closest option, Mars or Venus, takes several months to get there by rocket. It takes more than a year for round trips. If our goal is to explore the rest of the solar system, the Moon is the easiest and most useful running practice we can ask of the universe. Maybe we will use it again soon at all that it brings to Earth. The gravity of the Moon helps to generate tides on the Earth. Discouraged? Can't you break some twisted waves? Good friends, there will be a bigger problem. It will eliminate all marine life that depend on tides and ocean currents for survival. Our whole world will be turned upside down. The Earth will burn, our days will be shorter, and the Moon will not be there to illuminate the night sky. Now we know how much damage would be caused if the Moon exploded. What if we had two instead of no Moon? For billions of years, the gravity of the Moon has slowed down the rotation of the Earth, making us 24 hours a day. Without it, the Earth will start to spin faster and faster. We will have shorter days and stronger winds. Birds and insects will find it difficult to survive in high winds. In the worst-case scenario, the polar regions may begin to melt rapidly, rising sea levels and flooding parts of the world. What would you do if the Moon exploded? Let us know in the comments below! If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos.